In the last video, I talked about why I moved out of London and why maybe you might want to think about moving out of London. Today though, I'm going to talk about some of the drawbacks of moving out of London because there are some challenges and it would be remiss of me to, to not be honest and upfront about the kind of challenges that I had when I moved out of London. The first challenge relates to social networks. If you grow, if you live in a particular area or you've grown up there or you've spent most of your adult life there, the chances are you have put some roots down, you know, and you have some, you have your family around you possibly. You have your, your siblings, your parents, nieces, nephews, aunts, uncles, grandparents, and so forth. And it's a big thing to move away from your family. This is, this is probably the number one challenge. It's very hard to remove yourself from all of the people who you've built around you, you know, your social network, your friends as well, your family, uh, uh, and moving away from London for a lot of us, particularly black people, means you are putting greater distance between yourself and your social networks, your friends and your family. So that's one of the first, probably the most important challenge in moving out of London or any other any other place really that you've that you've lived in for a long time is that there's a risk that you're going to become quite isolated by not being close to your friends and your family. Clearly, what you really need to be doing if you're going to move out of London or any other big city, try to move somewhere that you have some connections there, that you have some roots there, and that isn't too far away from London or wherever you've come from to help with that transition. Now, a second drawback with moving out of London for me related to when I used to live in London, it was very straightforward. I lived, the last place I lived in in London was Leighton and it was great. I used to work in the city. I could rock up, I could wake up an hour before work was supposed to start and I could still be at work on time because it was half an hour maybe to get to somewhere like a Liverpool Street or Bank or whatever. Now, however, and any of you guys who have moved out of London, moved into the commuter belt, you'll know this. Unfortunately, when it is time to go into London for work, you're having to spend an hour, an hour and a half, maybe even two hours on that commute. Now, what I would say is that that's not a problem that's specific to moving out of London. I've got many colleagues who live on once on all the way over in East London, you know, Stratford, Essex, um, not Essex, Ilford or whatever. And their job is all the way over in Twickenham or somewhere like that or vice versa. So, you know, that's not a specific issue for coming out of London, but it generally will be an issue. When you move out of London, you're going to be spend having to spend a lot more of your time sitting on trains, sitting in traffic and that sort of stuff. And that could be a a detriment to your quality of life. You know, that's time that you could have been spending with your friends, your family, you know, getting rest and whatnot, and you're having to spend it on the de that depressing commute. Now, a third drawback kind of relates to what I started off with, being detached from your your social networks. But here, I'm, I'm referring more to the fact that London is the city that does not sleep. They've even got night tube now. You know, they've had that for a few years now. When I was growing up, the tubes finished at like 10 or whatever, and that was it. You'd be on the night buses, but at least you had night buses. <laughs> Nowadays, you have night tube. You can go out at any time of the night. You can get to any part of London really pretty easily, either on a tube or a bus. The bus, the transport networks in London, it could be better, but it's a lot, it's a damn sight better than what you're going to find when you move out of London. Now, a third drawback with moving out of London is an obvious one, and it relates to the fact that in London, you're never stuck for something to do. Particularly if you're a younger person, say in your 20s or 30s, there are so many things to do in London. You can go to bars, restaurants, cafes, art galleries, theatres, various different kind of shows. If you're thinking about children, for example, there's loads of different types of things to do for children. Or, you know, in London, there's the city, there's the sites. There's all sorts. Nightclubs, the nightlife in London can be really good depending on what you're into, what music you're into. There's a lot to do in London. When you move out of London, particularly if you're going to move to a smaller town, then you find that there's just not that much to do. There's not that much to do in a lot of towns outside London, purely because they're much smaller. So in order to, in order to have a, a nightlife, in order to have some entertainment, you're going to either have to go to London or travel to some other larger town closer to where you are. So that's something to really consider if you're particularly if you're a younger person and you like that or you just like going out and socialising and so forth, consider very carefully moving out of London because that could be something that you're going to struggle with. Now, the fourth drawback to moving out of London that I have found relates to the kind of 
things that are spe specific to me as a black man. So our cultural life is very specific. We get our haircut at, at our own barbers. We get our foods, different kinds of foods, uh, cosmetics, hair stuff, all these kinds of things. Generally speaking, you don't find those in your big supermarkets and just mainstream standard stores. We are used to going to our smaller shops that are dotted all over any high street in most parts of London. When you move out of London, that becomes an issue. So you're probably going to have to travel further than you would like in order to get your hair cut, in order to get your hair done for females, in order to get your whatever cosmetics in order to go and buy your nice sweet potatoes or your, your certain kind of fruits and vegetables you like to get from from your motherland from your home country from your country your forebears you're going to need to travel and that's that's a challenge that can be a challenge it's not insurmountable all you need to do is plan in advance and you know whenever i go to london i always come back with a, a tub of shea butter or whatever it might be but that is a challenge, you know, you're going to have to be more organised in making sure that you have all of those cultural goods and services that you, that we need, particularly as black African Caribbean people in the UK. And following on from that, the last drawback or the last challenge to overcome when moving out of London, it's an obvious one. It's the fact that when you are living in London, most parts of London, you will be seeing lots of other pe other black people as well as people from different parts of the world. London is a global city. When you move out of London to some of these smaller towns in the commuter belt, you're going to experience England more like what the majority of England is, if that makes sense. In London, you can get kind of a skewed impression if in certain parts of London where you think, oh yeah, well, 30% of people in England, in Britain must be black and 20%, 40% Asian or whatever. But when you move out of London, not even that far out of London, you realise that, oh wow, you might go out and about, you might not see any other black people on your trip to the corner shop, or you might not see any other, you know, you might only see white people. And that doesn't necessarily need to be a challenge for you. If I wasn't, for me personally, that's not so much of an issue because I'm, you know, I'm grown. I kind of feel like I've lived my life and I know who I am and this this isn't so much of an issue. For children though, that is something that I think you, you need to think seriously about because if you're not going to be seeing people who look like you around you, then that can have a negative impact, particularly if, as I'll discuss in a future video, that, you know, when, when, not even if, when issues come up to do with race and identity and racism and this sort of stuff, it's clearly going to be more complicated and challenging to deal with those and address those issues when your children might be the only black person in the class or the only black person even in the school, depending on which part of the country that you go to. That's a much bigger issue, which I certainly will revisit in a future video. But those are just five of the main challenges that I found with moving out of London. I hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts on this as well. Have you moved out of London? How have you overcome some of these challenges? And what other challenges would you put forward as well to uh, to the whole emigrating out of London? Let me, let me know your thoughts on that. Make sure you, if you like this kind of video and you'd like to see more of these kinds of videos, do make sure you subscribe. And if you haven't already, please do check out my previous video that I did where I discussed why I think people should move out of London. And I've also got other videos as well such as a video I did on the, the low home ownership rates amongst black people and, and why that is a real concern, in my opinion. Take good care of yourselves and I'll see you next time.